Replit just launched a Replit agent and it absolutely crushes Cursor and also Devin. Devin does not exist at this point other than the waitlist. So let's leave Devin out of the contest. But even if you're coding with Cursor, one of the biggest roadblocks I've heard from a lot of people is that they do not know how to deploy something that they build. Imagine like you're not a programmer, like think beyond the coding world. You take somebody who has just taught something in the school and then you want them to code something. Now, the biggest problem that they would have is how do I download the ID? How do I edit something? How do I save something? How do I upload it to GitHub? How do I deploy? These are all the challenges that typically come with programming, not necessarily just how to code the logic. And now Replit agent is here to solve all these problems. It's quite insane how every single day this domain is completely changing and there is a new leader. So Replit agent, I just tested it. And within less than 10 minutes, you can take from idea to an MVP. So completely working minimum viable product, completely deployed online, everything within the browser. You don't have to leave it. It's quite insane. This is just a game I just like literally created. Um, it's called a crocodile shooter. And I didn't even have to come up with the games uh, let's say requirements. So I went to chat GPT and I just said that, Hey, I want to create a crocodile shooting game for kids. There are not going to be any external game assets like PNG files. I didn't want it to include anything. I want you to create a good requirement so that I can give it to a freelancer and get it done. So, I mean, like imagine you are going to post this on uh, freelancing platforms like Upwork. This is, this is what you want to do. So I literally copied and pasted it here. And after I pasted it here, so it, it said, Oh, let me propose what we are going to build. And in fact, it proposed me additional features. And then in um, like 11 minutes, you have got this game ready and it is kind of temporarily deployed and you can permanently deploy it as well. Start the game and uh, hello crocodiles. Yeah. So I'm going to show you in this video, how to create something like this from idea to MVP in a GIF, in a GIF. Is that correct? In a GIF. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. I want to build a beautiful looking weather um, card that has beautiful icons get the weather from I think this is WTTRN is that correct the endpoint yep yeah. I'm going to say get the weather from this endpoint that's it I'm going to just leave it and click start building yeah I know Replit agent is in early access thank you thank you for letting me know and uh, this is not one of the prompts that they've given and the prompt as you can see here the prompt is very basic if you were to build this i would strongly encourage you to create a detailed requirement something like chat gpt gave me so it should have like some uh, context uh, what are you trying to do what kind of platform it should use right now we didn't even tell what language or tech stack that it should use i think it likes uh, more on the python side of the thing than what v0 does v0 is more on the Next JS, the JavaScript library side of the thing. I think this is more on the Python side of the thing. Okay, we have got a plan. Flask and uh, vanilla JS. Okay. The app will fetch data from WTTR.n, display it in a visually appealing chord with icons. Um, what, what do you want to do? Okay, implement a five day forecast, add animated weather icons for a more dynamic display. I don't know, maybe just animated icons. Allow users to save favorite locations. I'm not sure if allow users to save favorite locations might work because I've not added my uh, Firebase or any kind of, um, let's say the key here. Another good thing with Repilit is you can handle secrets. That means um, I can probably connect to my open AI account or I can connect to my Google generative AI account, or the AI studio account, and I can leverage those things. So I'm not going to do that in this particular video. I want this to be uh, just an introduction one. But just like how I was obsessed with cursor, I'm so sorry to say that I'll be, I'm already kind of obsessed with this. So I might have like more videos coming using Replit, how you can build something. Because like I said, they've got excellent distribution, a lot of schools and colleges, students um, use it. Um, and uh, this is one of the easiest way for you to build something and deploy it online. In fact, for that matter, I'll show you one thing like when, once this is done, it, not just that you can deploy this, but you can also connect it to a custom domain. So that means you get to code, uh, you get to deploy this agent encoder error. Uh, my goodness, seriously, I was saying all the good things about you. Okay. What is the error? Is it because they don't have, uh, 
can you go on let's see um i guess it is probably due to svg it, i thought it created the svg let's see the icons it has an icon okay now it's trying to go on cool let's see um the good thing here is that everything comes together it's not just an ide it's it can spin up a server it can deploy and i'll quickly show you the deployment like if it successfully happens otherwise we'll go back to my crocodile game example and then do it so it's again creating the main.py file one thing i don't know is why is it using okay it's using flask to make the calls cool makes sense it's using flask to make the api http request and i don't know why does it have to create the svg files um couldn't it have used something like phantasm maybe i it's my bad i didn't um, i didn't tell it clearly that you could have used phantasm icons this video is mostly going to be less edited because i want to i want you all to see in real time what is happening if it is showing any error i don't want to uh, glorify the ai and then say that oh the ai coded everything i didn't touch anything i didn't change anything i don't want it to be like that i want it to be an inspirational video for people who cannot build things i am somebody who doesn't have good front end knowledge i mean like my front end knowledge is terrible but oh this is good uh, if you know we did a similar thing with cursor and i would honestly say already it is better than this the the card is moving it is so beautiful um let me let me try for bangalore bengaluru bangalore how do i call it bengaluru okay wow the card is moving it's um, it's sunny is it okay let me try for dubai um this is nice but i think the landing page is a little boring i, I mean it looks good but um can we name this weatherify and make the landing page more professional um i don't know if i can let's let's see if uh, weather app inspirations let's take something um and um, yeah let's let's give this as an example i'm not sure how it is going to play out and uh, take take some inspiration um like this like the attached image okay so i mean it looks good uh, outright it looks good much better than what cursor did for me or v0 i don't remember exactly what did we do there but i want i like this animation like i couldn't have done it ever in my life 34 degrees celsius in dubai that's quite bad anyways i've given an inspiration and uh, i've asked it to rename it and update the landing page to make it more professional and uh, it's also going to take inspiration from the attached image that means it's also going to do i'll implement a card based design with multiple weather cards a useful full width and i also don't know if it let the users um, let's say save it because that's one thing that it said it might do it it doesn't seem like it did because i also anticipated that it could not do because it doesn't have a database connected but another thing with replit is uh, i know for sure that you can connect it to firebase uh, so that means you can easily attach a database and because it is quite interested in a python environment i'm not sure like if we can have a sql light um maybe these are like some experiments that i would like to do it's updating the python file okay it's got a better landing page we have got shikini gym shiki nijima um i don't know a lot of things about the universe uh, it seems the good thing like another good thing is if you saw my cursor or v0 video about the same weatherify app you would have seen that i would have struggled to the change the icons and you would notice that it didn't have this color conditions so, so the good thing here is that when the temperature is less it has got a different color when the temperature is more it's got a different color it already adds uh, the fields like uh, humidity wind speed and all those things i had to manually do that and let's go ahead and then add dubai okay i've got dubai there yep we have got dubai there uh, i don't know if you, if i can save this i cannot save this okay anyways we have successfully made the application so i'm going to go to the next stage and um, deploy your app okay bunch of options i'm going to go with the default option um, it's weather card design can i call it weatherify so that i feel good about it cool it's going to go ahead with 2gb ram i'm not sure uh, because last time when i tried to deploy the crocodile app uh, i had some problem and you can see the uh, secrets uh, so as you can see here let's say you want to do with open ai gemini 
Claude, whatever AI that you want to use, you can add the secret here. So right now it's going ahead with the database, PG, um, Postgres and all the things. You just click deploy. It's going to take a take some time and uh, it is running it as Python main.py. Okay, it's not a streamlit application. So maybe Flask should work directly. So trying to deploy here. And also the other thing is like, you can actually open this in a new tab. So there is like a temporary deployment and you can open it in a new tab. It's got these basic um, default places. I'm going to go to Dubai, search. Yep, go back to the deployment and then see if the deployment is successful. So there's a deployment that is happening, waiting for the deployment to be ready. Uh, all the things happened, the provisioning of the compute or the, uh, the machine happened, build happened and bundling happened. And right now it's going to connect it to the final link. Wow. It's done. Uh, I might delete the application later on, but if you go to weatherify dash one little coder dot replit dot app, we have it, uh, successfully. We have managed to create something that is beyond my skill set. And a deployed. I mean, I can make HTTP request, but I cannot make like cards like this, like the one that moves like this. And I want to end this video here because I want to leave something for the next time. So at this point, we have successfully learned about Replit agent. We have tried a bunch of applications. I think the Weatherify one is sub, uh, definitely something that impressed me a lot. It has uh, an affinity uh, towards Python based systems when it wants to build it. I'm not sure if it is because it's very easy for it to spin up a server using flask or what is the reason i'm not sure but this is a really promising system which you can use to take an idea from idea to mvp in like less than 10 minutes the deployment is the only thing that takes time and it can also let you connect with different systems because it can handle secrets it can handle a bunch of other things this is quite excellent the only thing is it's not a free solution you have to be on the paid plan but again it has got access distribution within a lot of colleges and schools so I'm going to definitely try a lot of Repilate agent. Let me know what you think. If you have seen Devin, if you have seen Cursor, this is going to be a completely a different experience and that might crush both Cursor and Devin. I hope this video was helpful to you with a lot of my stupid debugging. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.